So what if I were to say, look, um, Ephesians 2, 8, 9 says we're saved by grace, which we are, through faith, which we are, not of works, lest any man should boast. And then I said, and pay attention to the second part, baptism is a work. Therefore, if it's by grace through faith, you, it can't include baptism. Now, a lot of people do this, and I don't know, if, I'm assuming you guys caught what I just did, hmm. but there's something I did in there that's really sort of tricky that if you're not paying attention, you'll catch it. Number one, Ephesians 2, 8, 9 says we're saved by grace. Are we saved by grace? Absolutely. Yes, sure enough. Titus 2, 11 says the grace of God appeared, bringing salvation to all men, right? God's grace came in verse 12 mm-hmm. of Titus 2, says instructing us. Saved by grace through faith, okay? The faith, the yep. gospel, not of works. Now, then I say, well, baptism's a work, okay? Work of who? How, how would you respond? I'm trying yeah, to make an assertion, yeah. right? Yeah. So, uh, well, you need to understand the point of the letter, right? We talked about context in an early ep- earlier episode. You need oh, to understand yeah. why something's being written, to who it's being written to, and, and really what's being said around that passage, right? Yeah. And you need to compare that to what other passages say in the Bible that seemingly contradict that passage. Mm-hmm. So, not of works. Okay, well, what about a... <laughs> What about John six twenty nine? Yeah. Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God that you believe on him whom he hath sent. God is commanding certain works. Mm-hmm. The one here in this verse is he's commanding belief. Yep. And belief is a work. Yeah. According you, to the Bible, belief yeah. is a work. So what kind of work are we talking about in Ephesians? Well, and you know, it's funny. In John 6, they ask Jesus, what are the works that we should be doing, basically? And Jesus yeah. says, believe. And sometimes people will say, oh, no, no, that says the work of God is belief, right? Listen to this. This is 1 Thessalonians 1, 1, 3. Remembering without ceasing your work of faith. There you go. Okay. That's, yeah. Now look at, this is 2 Thessalonians 1, 1, 11. It's the end of the verse. I'm not going to read the whole verse. Fulfill all good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith. You may never have heard those verses, but the Bible says faith or belief is a work. Okay. Now the key, let's bring this back. We're saved by grace through faith, not of works. What kind of works are being talked about in Ephesians? Right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, not, it's not just any work because belief is mm-hmm. called a work at least three times. I could show you more, but I'll stop there. So belief is called a work. Yeah. Ephesians 2 is not talking about obedience, right? No. It's talking about you can't earn salvation. Right. I could never do enough good things to say like, man, God's got to let me in because look how good I am. I can't build enough hospitals. I can't make him make so many statues that honor God. I, mm-hmm. I can't, you know, I can't do anything that's extravagant or fancy that's going to say, mm-hmm. God, you owe this to me now. Mm-hmm. The only thing I can do is look at what God has told me to do, look at the work that he's given me to do and say, yes, sir, I'll do Mm -hmm. that. Basically say, I submit to you. Yeah. That's the kind of work that saves you. Yeah. Not the, not the, not the building of things, not the charity, how much money you give. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes people also, let me read you another passage. Well, okay. Before we leave Ephesians, let me, let me look at this. Ephesians chapter two, who wrote it through the, God wrote it through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. But who was the penman? The apostle who? Say it again. Who? Sorry, I'm talking. <laughs> the who wrote the uh, 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 Ephesian letter? Uh, it's Paul. Okay, yeah. Apostle Paul. Yeah. So the Apostle Paul writes the Ephesian letter. Listen to what he says in verse four. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of His great love, which which with which He loved us. So Paul says, God loved me and the Ephesians. Okay. Even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. And then it goes into by grace you've been saved. So Paul says, I was saved by grace through faith, not of works. But how was Paul saved? Yeah, that's a good point. Let's, mm-hmm. let's fl- go to Acts chapter 22 really quickly. Acts chapter 22, the Apostle Paul, if you want one, if you said, Aaron, give me the nail in the coffin, or if you're watching and you're like, I disagree with you, just study this passage on your own and try to disprove what we're saying. This is my favorite one right here. It, Acts twenty two sixteen. okay? Paul's conversion is told in Acts 9, Acts 22, Acts 26. Acts 9 and 22 are the greater, the f- more full stories. In Acts chapter 9, you read that Paul meets Jesus, calls him Lord. That's not verse 6. Verse 9, he fasts uh, and doesn't drink for three days. Verse 11, he prays, okay, the whole time. So he's praying for three days. In Acts 22, it's told again. And in Acts 22, after meeting Jesus, calling him Lord, praying for likely three days, fasting, which shows his repentance. So he's done everything. He's believed, repented. He's confessed him as Lord. And Ananias comes to him in Acts twenty two sixteen 16 and says what? says, why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized and wash away your sins. What's the last part of the verse? Wash away your sins. After that. Oh. Calling on the name of the Lord. Oh, yeah. Call, call on so he Lord. says, arise, 
be baptized and wash away your sins. Wait, what, a, what do you mean sins? I thought he was saved already. He was not saved on the road to Damascus. So arise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on the name of the Lord. Here's, here's where a lot of people think they see the sinner's prayer, right? What, what would you say if I told you, Scott, you don't have to be baptized. You just have to call on the name of the Lord to be saved. Man, I would say, let's look at these same passages you just mentioned. Yeah. I mean, who do you think was praying for three days? That's right. Who was down on their knees, right? Yeah. It was Paul. And, and he was still told, ah, there's something you need to get up and do. Yeah. What do you need to get up and do? You need to get up, arise, right? Mm-hmm. And be baptized and wash away your sins. And in doing that, you're what? Calling, calling on, on the, the name of the Lord. Calling right? on the name of the Lord is not a prayer. Yeah. If it was, you just said it. Paul had already been praying for three days. Yeah. If calling on the name of the Lord's a prayer, why wasn't Paul saved already? And if you look, calling on the name of the Lord, remember we started in Acts 2.38. Acts 2.21, Peter says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. It's a quote from like Joel Mm 2.32. And then the people later in that same sermon say, what do we do? And he says, repent and be baptized. Call on the name of the Lord and you'll be saved. Hey, how do we do that? Repent and be baptized. Right. I mean, it it also brings my mind to something we talked about in an earlier episode. Mm Uh, doing something in the name of Jesus, in the mm-hmm. name of the Lord, is doing it by his authority. Mm-hmm. Jesus has given certain authority for you to be saved. Mm-hmm. What authority is that? It's the one that the apostles taught That's in right. Acts chapter 2. It's the one that he taught in Mark chapter 16, verse 16. Yeah. In other places, Paul is submitting to that authority. That's what he's doing. He's appealing to that authority that Christ has laid out, yeah. that you will be saved when yeah. you obey the gospel. He already believes. Yeah. He's already, con- he's, he's definitely willing to confess. Yeah. I mean, Hey, yeah. look, you see that in, in the account. Yeah. Uh, he's penitent. All this left now. Yeah. Arise and be baptized. That's right. Wash away your sins. Submit to that authority that God has given. Hey everybody. Thanks for listening to the authentic Christian podcast. This podcast is sponsored by the gospel broadcasting network or GBN for short. You can hop on the app store, search gospel broadcasting network, and you can download the app And there's this show, many other great shows that you can watch or listen to. Start learning more about the Bible and uh, why we're here, what our purpose is.